on behalf of the Lee Scaler, who are benefiting from the Kehillah, Mr. Paul Mack, an activist, somebody who's involved in the Kehillah in an increasing manner, somebody who's become very close to the Kehillah, and will now tell us firsthand what he thinks of the Kehillah, and I'm sure give his brother to us all. And then we'll bench. Mr. Paul Mack, thank you. Yeah, um, it's no coincidence, and it's... Uh, um, it was very appropriate that uh, when we entered the month of Adar and uh, we're in the lead up to Purim, that we're, stu we're sat here in the, uh, in the most famous of hotels in Leeds, the Queen's. Uh, Diana, we're gone in. I was going to say ladies and gentlemen, but for me that's too formal. I think what's far more appropriate is uh, extended family. On behalf of the Leeds Jewish community, I think we owe a huge debt of gratitude to everybody here to today um, who have come to Leeds to perform such a huge mitzvah. Um, and in particular, the Leeds Kowal who have uh, organised today. None of us have any idea of the power of a mitzvah, how many mitzvahs have been achieved today. I've only been allocated a short amount of time, so I'll try and keep this brief. Um, I'm extremely honoured to speak tonight. Um, Rabbi Kramer asked me to talk a, a little bit about my journey, about Leeds, and why you're here today, why you're here tonight, and why it's so important. It's important for those who are not from Leeds to understand Leeds. Where Leeds has been, where Leeds is at and the journey that we are on. This is, in my opinion, the toughest assignment in UK jury today. And it's also the most important. Let's be honest, if we're not careful and we don't make the effort, there will be three Jewish communities left in the UK. Manchester, Gateshead and London. Rabbi Malcolm Herman, may he be well, came to Leeds five years ago and made a very insightful point that Leeds is at a crossroads. It will either go into terminal decline like the other communities in the UK or it will rejuvenate. We cannot let the fourth largest Jewish community in the UK down. And it's no coincidence that a year after he came to Leeds we had the colour. Like turning around a leaking oil tanker that's been leaking for 70 years, it will not be easy. Baruch Hashem, with the help of the Kalal, other organisations and the Rabbonim, I can tell you that the community is moving in the right direction. But it won't be easy, and it will not be quick. It may take another 70 years to change the mindset of this community, but we are committed and we are determined to making this happen, one mitzvah at a time. What's my story? My story wouldn't be a story without my wife, so it's our story. Ten years ago, I can tell you my shul attendance was three times a year, on the gates, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur for CST. Ten years ago, I couldn't read Hebrew. Ten years ago, I'd never heard of Tubish Bishvat. Ten years ago, I'd never heard of the Amidim. Fast forward. My wife gave a shear on Purim for an hour yesterday on Shabbos morning. a few months ago, I now regularly give to Deborah Torah at Mariv in Shul on a weekday minion. Last summer, we had our kitchen fully tobled. Last summer, I signed a ketubah for one of my best friend's wedding in Israel. And Baruch Hashem, I'll be starting, or I started learning today, of all days, learning Gemara with Yisrael Cohen, my Havrusa, who I learn with on a weekly basis. <laughs> Friends, 
extended family, we are not an exception. There are more people laying to fill in and lead than for many, many years. There are more people learning and leads than for many, many years. There are more people attending Jewish festivals than for many, many years. Young people who are seeing that life is not just about money and cars and divorce, etc., etc. We may not have a bonfire that can be seen across the Pennines yet. But we, the Kollel, the Rabonim, the members of the community and other organisations are igniting Jewish souls like never before. One can never see the impact of a mitzvah, but just as we've had Tu Bishvat and the seeds of spring have begun to emerge from the ground, so too is the evidence is beginning to, to, to materialise in Leeds. Without doubt, there is still a huge disconnect between those who are observant and those who are not. But the Kollel, I can tell you, are helping to bridge that divide. <laughs> Weekly and daily shirim, one-on-one -on -one learning, events surrounding Jewish festivals, opening up their homes on Shabbos and festivals with the community and so much more. Collectively, I can tell you this is having a significant impact on the spirituality of the Leeds Jewish community. I can tell you from just their personal meetups, it's an inspiration in itself. They, how they hold themselves, how they conduct themselves, each and every one of them. I'll give you a small example. I regularly play in a five-a-side football game on a weekday night, on a Wednesday night, among secular Jews and non-Jews. And I found out recently there are two players who are known for being a bit feisty on the football field. And every week they look at Rabbi Dansky, who also plays, and they say to themselves, we need to conduct ourselves like him. One of those players is me. <laughs> the other is also here tonight, and he's now wearing a yamoki, and he's made incredible strides in his Yiddish garden. <laughs> and let's not think for one second it's only the men making an impact in this community. I can't tell you how much the Rebbitsons and the Valwives of the Kollel are impacting the Leeds. They're forming relationships with girls and women and doing miraculous work in Leeds. <laughs> At Mount Sinai, Hashem spoke to the women first for a reason, because he knew the men would follow. Friends, is it worth the effort? Is Leeds a worthy cause for Sadaka? A question that I'm sure is asked in Manchester and other communities. Does the Leeds community want to grow it in its Yiddish guide? Some do, and we pray that many more will too. But like a child who only wants sweets and chocolate, the vast majority haven't had the education, haven't had the encouragement, and haven't had the opportunity. Friends, to save one life is to save the world. I'm asking you to make a difference and supporting the Leeds Kola will Baruch Hashem potentially save an entire community. I wish you all a safe journey home. Thank